Hey everyone, welcome back for the third stage in the Legend of a Land United Battle of Komaki Nagakute. Hideyoshi and Ieyasu have clashed at Komaki Nagatuke. Nagakute, rather. The battle of the time of the rule of the land is about to begin. As you can see, the difficulty in this age is actually going up now. I mean, this is six out of ten stars. A lot of other ones are like one, two, three, four, five, like that. So, let's begin. Hiyoshi defeated Katsui at Shizukotake Shizuka and convinced Soshi to side with him. He was quickly becoming the most powerful man in Japan. Only one daimyo was powerful enough to challenge Hideyoshi now. That man was Ieyasu Tokugawa, the daimyo who owned Mikawa Suruga and three other lands. You know, Nobunaga, second, Nobunaga older second son, Nobukatsu, approached Hide, Ieyasu and together they raised troops to fight against Hideyoshi. For the first time, Hideyoshi faced off against Ieyasu at Komaki Nagatuke. Kute, who would emerge merge victorious? Legend of the United. Battle of Komaki Nago Kute. One more person needs a weapon real quick. So let's reforge. There. Oh, what the wait. Ah, I picked the wrong character. To give the weapon to apparently. There we go. What the heck? For some reason, I don't know why that didn't work, but that's really weird. Let me try again. Okay, finally, it worked this time. That was really weird, but okay. There we go. I'm done with the shop now. Let's go with the friends. Kiyomasa and Masanori. A slip of the hand. Before the battle, the air was tense in Hideyoshi's camp. Yoshisuku, I would never question your loyalty. There is, however, something I need to confirm with you. Taka Takatora Toto, who's in the Tokugawa camp, there's been talk of you exchanging communications with him. And now this has arrived from me, for you from Takatora. Come through the letter Yoshisuku's feet. Yoshisuku picked it up, read it over, and gave it to Hideyoshi. I've never seen this before. Please believe me. Hideyoshi, Toshie, and Kanbei all said nothing. A heavy silence fell. 
Earl Hideyoshi, Mass Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi pending document. Mitsunori read the letter intently, but then his hand slipped and he dropped it into a nearby firebrand. Hey, what are you doing? Oh dear, my serious apology. Slip in the hand, I assure you. However, you deem fit to punish me. Hideyoshi looked shocked for a moment, but then immediately laughed. It looks like our solutions have gone up in flames. Yoshitsugu, Mitsunori will finish here. I didn't do it to save you, so don't get the wrong idea. I just want to prevent Mara falling forward battle. Huh. Victory conditions. Defeat Ieyasu Tokugawa and Nobukatsu Oda. Defeat conditions. Any Hideyoshi Hashiba, Hidesugu Hashiba, or Mitsunari Ishida are defeated. I have control of Gakuden Castle, while Master Ieyasu owns Mount Komaki Castle. We need to break this deadlock. Listen, I want you to secretly capture Obata Castle from there. We will be able to attack Master Ieyasu's homeland of Mikawa. The Hashiba Army Mobile Unit is advancing towards Obata Castle. Do not let Mitsunari Ishida be defeated. We're serving the DK for you. DK for you. The Tokugawa army's potential will be drawn towards us while you make your move. Objective. Defeat the enemy troops. The enemy has contracted his troops in the north. Tadakatsu, I'm leaving Komaki Castle and Master Nobukatsu in your care. This ever, their ever the defense is almost frightening. We most quickly take down the garrison in the southeast and move on to Obata Castle. If we can capture this garrison, then Obata Castle will be completely vulnerable. Bonus objective. Defeat Chika Yoshihiri uh, and Yuji Naga Odudono in order to capture the southeast of the garrison. Already there. Objective clear. Okay, there we go. Now back to the next. Eastern Garrison West Gate is open. Objective clear. Okay, keep up this momentum and take down Obata Castle. There should be more than enough to get the attention of the Tokugawa. Misunari's attack route will be much easier now. It appears we have dealt with the enemies around Obata Castle. The Tokugawa army has appeared in and around Obata Castle. Oh, okay. That was quick. Master Hideyoshi and our old friends, we know each other, we know each know what the other is capable of. However, if I can hold out here, then Lord Hideyoshi should be able to design some completely different strategy. Master Hideyoshi has appeared at Obata Castle, so that must mean that Komaki Castle is relatively undefended. We can take down Mount Komaki Castle while Misunari is making his stand. After that, we can hurry towards Obata Castle. Objective. Reach Mount Komaki Castle. I bring a message from Lord Hiyoshi. He asks that you hold out until he's able to count mass capture Mount Komaki Castle. I understand. Tell him that I'll carry his orders no matter the cost. This is assured of being a most difficult battle. We need to be careful that Lord Hidesugu is forced to flee to Mount Gakuden, uh, Gakuden Castle. It's enforced.
They made it this far, ladies on tour. Let's beat back the he he Hashibi army together. Objective. Defeat Naruto, Lee, and Ina. Look, two beautiful women are in charge of protecting the garrison at Mount Kobashi Castle. Idios was a formidable form battle indeed. At this rate, I won't be able to last much longer. I came to my assistance previously. Previously, it is only fair that I return a favor of by helping him out of this predicament. Objective clear. These enemies have infiltrated the castle. Master Noble Katsu, please fall back into a safe location. With Iyasu away, I'm in charge of Malcolm Martin Castle. I refuse to retreat like a coward. There's no need for us to engage Tadakatsu in battle directly. Focus on defeating Noble Katsu and capturing Castle. Objective Defeat Noble Katsu Oda. I am Noble Katsu, the son of Nobunaga. This point is for you to try and oppose me. Our deal with you guys, our, and we'll, I will be sure to clean up things here before that idiot Mitsunari gets himself killed. For every strategy, you lord he or she employs, he also counters. This land may have many daimo, but those two are its only true heroes. All gates to Makomaki Castle are open. Alright, Makomaki Castle is ours. Next we shall attack Obata Castle and save Mitsunari. My Noble Castle has been defeated and the castle has been lost. There is no need, there is no longer any reason for me to remain here. Tada Katsu, Honda is temporarily withdrawing. I just want to save Mitsunari, however, we prove difficult for my just my unit alone. The bonus is this. Defeat Hanzo Hatari and his allies. Excellent work drawing in drawing an enemy. That I got to now I shall begin my all-out assault on Gakuden Castle. Once Gakuden and Kazo falls, then Master Hideyoshi will lose his escape route. That would be our chance to slay him. Much to know, and the rest of the mobile unit are currently near Gakuden Castle. I need to hurry and return to the Castle. Meanwhile, the main unit should continue to attack on Obata Castle. We will defeat Master Ieyasu and march towards victory. Objective Defeat Takatora Toto. Yoshitsu, why would you put yourself in danger to help me? It's not like I wanted to help you. I was simply afraid that our allies would more our plummet if we didn't. If I didn't. Wow, okay. <laughs> if you say so. Bonus objective, defeat Morotoro, Morotora Tori, and Yasumasa Sakibara. Objective clear. I can't believe you'd evolve others in order to rescue me. You're even stupider than I thought. 
Well, not as stupid as somebody who would recklessly burn a rather important letter. Objective clear. You don't have any feet to wrestle. You must hurry to Gakuden Castle. These freaking cliffs and everything make it really annoying to do this. Without he is still going to be defeated at Gakuden Castle. Hurry to his aid. Not you anywhere near Lord Iyasu, prepare to die. Lord Hideyoshi and Iyasu respect each other greatly, and yet, and they are also both fighting to become the ruler of the land. It has been Iyasu's goal all along to slay Lord Hideyoshi, that's why he used his own castle and men as decoys. Objective clear. Alright, we just stand back and allow a land ruled by Hideyoshi. My lord, I've just returned from my Komachi castle. I'm ready to accept whatever punishment you seem fit. Deem fit. There's no need to have Thank you. Thanks to your efforts, we managed to deal Hideyoshi about a serious blow. In that case, I'm eager to flick an even more degrees blow upon Master Hideyoshi. He was so ruthless, like, damn, like, uh, man, it's crazy. They were all on the same side, like, a few years pr uh, prior to this whole, like, conflict, really, because they were all under Lord, um, the hell I say. They were all under Nobunaga Oda. Once he died, everything just went poof. It pretty much divided like a good portion of the land. Pretty much anyone that was opposing Nobunaga got defeated by him while he was alive. And then it was just the people under him. Once he died, they decided who was going to do what and everything. And it got all conflicted from what, you know, I could tell from playing all the games. This whole conflict between Ieyasu and Mitsu, um, Hideyoshi and their um, respective officers pretty much was a major part of the um, Samurai Warriors 2 and 3. Part 1 didn't really focus on it too much. It had like a lot less characters and everything so it didn't go as far. It pretty much ended right around the time. As far as the campaign it kind of ended when um with Hideyoshi's death. Uh, no, we're not going to death, rather. All this pretty much got introduced in the Samurai Warriors 2. Characters like Masanori, Fukushima, and Kiyomasa were introduced in Samurai Warriors 3, I believe. And they were um, pretty much like friends of Mitsunari. They were like a trio, pretty much. And the story kind of reflected a lot about their relationship and their journey and battles and whatnot. After Hideyoshi um, began to take control of Nobunaga's areas and all that good stuff.
somehow we managed to win the battle. Master E also is every bit as formidable as I had feared. Victory. Cracks appear. So Hideyoshi went to Ieyasu and has revealed the truth to him. Do you know what this means? Yeah, of course I do. If Ieyasu becomes our ally, our lord will have unified the land. Ostensibly, yes, but I see it a different way. As an indication of how much lord Ieyasu trusts Ie so Hideyoshi trusts Ieyasu. He trusts his greatest enemy? What madness are you saying? Mizunari, you must have felt it too. The popularity and power of Ieyasu. In just this last battle, we seriously struggled against him. Lord Hideyoshi is already looking into the future, looking into the world after he is gone. Lord Hideyoshi has no children by blood. Lord Hidesugu is adopted, which means the only way to stabilize his land, the land he proceeds to create. I don't like talking about this, I'm leaving. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Higamasa, but surely there's no need to worry about something so far in the future. Even without Ieyasu, anyway, we, we three here are more than enough to protect his legacy, right? Try to see the truth, Mitsunari. And that was it for the battle of Komaki Nagatuke, K Nagakute. Next is the conquest of Shikoku. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Feel free to like the video and leave a comment in the comment section. I do read them all. And I will respond most likely. So that's all for now.